Sarah Ward, Outreach Librarian. Stephanie Margolin, Instructional Design Librarian. And Mason Brown, Science Librarian. We talked about our work with uh, SEEK students over the summer. Um, using close reading of images, particularly comic panels, to encourage and teach the students how to ask questions effectively. So we had the faculty at the event work through the session, uh, a similar exercise to what we do with the students, where we gave them a comic image and asked them to ask questions about it for five minutes. And it was an image from, I think, Avenging Spider-Man number 12, where it was an image of Spider-Man um, in his underwear in a dream sequence uh, arguing with Deadpool. But we do more than just superheroes. Mason, Mason has uh, curated a full array of, of comic book characters. So, so there's a few superheroes, but then there are also all kinds of other... Yeah, we try to make sure there's plenty of, you know, I say every time, just not white dudes in capes. We want to have plenty of uh, non-human characters, as well as, you know, black characters and Asian characters and Hispanic characters and just all kinds of characters that represent the students that are actually in the SEEK program. We hope that, first and foremost, they see that they already have a skill in asking questions, that they're more comfortable asking questions of people that might look scary, like librarians. We want to build comfort with the library. And also comfort with asking questions, because when you start college, the only way you're going to figure things out is by asking questions. And we wanted them to get really comfortable and really familiar with that um, before they even matriculated as Hunter College students. That was the hope we wanted to keep kind of subject neutral, uh, so it's not specifically a specific discipline, but it's image and everyone knows how to look at an image. And we thought it would be an interesting way to have the students engage with the material in a different way than they engage with other kinds of materials over the summer project, over the summer bridge. We do want to build build on skills and interests that students might already have. And so we find that even, even when students say that they're not that into comics or whatever, usually they work in groups and usually somebody knows something about it. Uh, so that, that also sort of lets them see that they're not starting from like zero. Well, we've, we've seen in the library already that um, while we don't always work with comics, that a lot of us are spending a lot more time working with students on the question asking process, whether we do it in a large class or with students when we work with them one on one. And so I think that by presenting it, I certainly hope that maybe other faculty would also take up that idea and see how they could integrate some question asking into their, into their process. And we do, um, as Stephanie said, that it's sort of spread among our librarians and among the faculty members we work with, people are starting to see the value in really not coming to the library just to find things, but really starting to think about the research process as the, you know, the question asking and building on asking of good questions and researchable questions and what those might look like. And so we're hoping to sort of keep those ripples happening throughout um, the, the classes that we work with.